What goes up must come down, but simply reaching the Earth's stratosphere was the first challenge for Alan Eustace. It took more than two hours to ascend 25 miles and around 15 minutes to parachute back to Earth, at times travelling faster than the speed of sound. Previous explorers used complicated platforms and capsules. Mr Eustace used a balloon and a very special suit. What was really unique about this is we tried to build a spacesuit that was equivalent to scuba diving, where the tanks were included so that I didn't have to disconnect from a capsule, I didn't have to have a heavy capsule to go up. All I had to do was like scuba diving. I just went up in a suit in an environment that was capable of sustaining me during that period of time. That suit is now on display at the National Air and Space Museum in Virginia, home to many other artefacts of space exploration, which in the 1960s inspired Mr Eustace. Everyone I know dreamed of being an astronaut, everybody I know dreamed of being above the atmosphere, to be able to look at the curvature of the Earth, the darkness of the space, the beautiful thin atmosphere. And uh, I guess in my case, that dream never really went away. Even at 57 years old, I was still dreaming. Remarkably, the record-breaking suit was made relatively cheaply, using existing technology and materials. Mr Eustace and his team simply discovered new ways to apply it, such as how to heat thermal underwear with a water system. And the hot water just circulates around my chest, and then on my legs, and then goes back to be reheated. Why do you need to be kept warm? Because it's cold up there. The higher that you go through the uh, uh, troposphere, uh, the colder it gets. And eventually we'll get up to uh, minus 110, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And Mr. Eustace, a keen skydiver and pilot, didn't have to spend years at NASA learning how to be an astronaut. So could anyone do this? Could I do this? You could certainly do this. The way we designed the system was, you know, if everything went wrong, if I was unconscious, they had to be able to get me from 135,000 feet down to the ground safely if I did nothing. Uh, so if you're capable of doing nothing, I think you could do it. With many sites set on the Moon and Mars, the Earth's stratosphere remains largely unexplored. But this suit, or something like it, puts it within reach of scientists. And one day, it might even be adapted to bring people back from the International Space Station. How are you doing? I am tired, but healthy. <laughs> Jane O'Brien, BBC News, Virginia.